There are few places hotter than Cuba PD. Temperatures in this outback town regularly exceed 50 degrees. And the extreme heat has led to a unique way of life. So welcome. Thank you. Wow. People in Cuba PD have gone underground. Bernadette Roberts, like half the town's population, lives in a dugout below the surface. And what sort of temperatures are you getting here in the height of summer outside? Oh, 50s, you know. Oh. Um, you hear the southern states and the eastern states whinge about the 40s, and yeah, yeah we get the 50s, so, you know, that's a nice day. <laughs> yeah. But then once again, we've got our dugouts that we retreat into. And so. I guess for those living above ground, it's just the cost of what? Keeping them cool, oh, air, the air conditioning, conditioning, electricity. You would have to have your air conditioning. 24-7, and that would be extremely expensive. And Cuba PD people are well used to digging. It's a mining town. Each one of these piles, there are more than two million of them, is where people have been mining for opals. All underneath Cuba PD, there is this incredible network of tunnels left by more than a century of opal mining. This town was built by miners, but what's unique here is that people chose not only to work underground, but to live here too, to escape the blistering heat of the outback. And it's really noticeable, it's a good 10 to 15 degrees cooler down here than it is up above ground level. Harry and Annie Hayden's home is cut into the rock face. Harry, a miner himself, says underground living was a natural way to go. I think it started because people were, were mining and then uh, when they mined they thought oh it's a lot cooler in there, can we, make, can we live in there? And a lot of them just lived in the mines that they'd actually, the shafts that they'd dug in the side of a hill. And for Annie there was no question of living above ground. Because you're living in a dugout that it's nice and cool and everything and if you don't want to go outside you don't, you hibernate. Cubapedians will emerge in a few months' time. Australia has just experienced its hottest year on record. Global warming could see temperatures rise still further, meaning dugout digs could be an idea that catches on. John Donison, BBC News, in Cubapedi, in the Australian Outback. <laughs>